We just got in a huge trade, a ton of cards for a piece of alpha power. Welcome back everybody. This is Encore from Purple Mana. As I mentioned, we have a trade for an Alpha Mox Pearl. Uh, why don't we uh, check out some of the cards that we got in? Let me show you the Alpha Mox Pearl that this customer is trading for. So we got this a couple weeks ago from a trade um, for an Alpha Black Lotus. You probably saw that. If not, please go check it out. So this is this is a very, very, very nice Alpha Mox Pearl. So overall, you can see the surface is in pretty decent shape. There's a little bit of scratching, maybe a tiny, tiny bit of dents. Yeah, mostly just light scratches overall. So the surface is in really just very, very good shape. And there's a little bit of wear on the back little bit of surface wear, a uh, little bit of scratching, which you can see right there. Edges are overall pretty good. There's no inking on this guy. Face is really pretty, nicely centered, especially for an alpha card, you know, which, which can be uh, pretty hard to find. Overall, pretty nicely centered and uh, really nice eye appeal for some of this alpha power. And so now let's start to run through some of the, the cards that came in and trade. So first we have an, okay, so what we were expecting for this one is MP plus. I, I don't quite think that this one deserves MP plus. So the face is certainly very nice here, right? You can see the face is very good. Um, the back is, is a little bit too worn. You know, this really looks more like an HP back. So I think generally speaking, our customers would probably rate this more like an MP minus um, for that card. So, so this also has quite a bit of surface wear on the front. It is nicely centered. But as you can see, this, this has really just a, a lot of wear on the back. So this one, I mean, if anything, we'd call this poor, but I think for the sake of this trade, you know, we can give the customer HP. This last one, kind of in a similar boat, I would say, you know, when you sort of look at it, nice face, but the back here also pretty HP, I think. This one, I think also we'd have to ding down to probably MP minus. Um, let me take a look at some more of the higher end cards so we can get a sense for this trade. So this one is rated near mint. This is not certainly not near mint. Our customers, the expectation around near mint is pretty strict in my experience. This this at best, I would say, would get MP. No, I'd say LP minus because it has the corner wear and the edge wear on this. So maybe LP at best, but certainly not near mint. And then this next one is supposed to be LP plus. I can already tell you it's not MP plus, LP plus, but I think this one will probably get a fair LP on it. These are all about half a grade too high, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of adjustment with this customer. We tend to be a little bit loose on grading when it comes in. It really just depends on the card. It really just depends on the trade, actually, not so much the card. So that being said, the modern stuff tends to be a little bit more strict in my experience. The customers just expect it to be in better, better shape. Um, all right, let's look at this Gwendolyn and then maybe the birds and then I'll run through the rest. So this one is supposed to be LP. I think this one might get LP minus to MP plus. So there's a little bit too much surface wear, as you can see down here. I think our customers would probably rate this LP, LP minus to MP plus, probably closer to the MP plus. And then let's take a look at this uh, birds as well. This one is rated MP and I think MP minus is probably what I would give it because it has a nice face, but a really busted back, kind of a magic mullet. Um, so why don't I run through a few more of these so you can sort of get a sense for what this trade looks like. We have Triskelion, Transmute, another copy artifact. We've had quite a few of those come in recently. Um, Gravity Sphere, that one continues to be popular. It looks like an Alpha Ice Storm, a couple Arabians, some more Antiquities, another copy. Antiquities, oh, okay, cool, another a dual land. Thomas Coffin, we haven't seen that one in a while. Field of Dreams, these always sell out too fast. I think we're selling them too cheap. Diamond Valleys, so that's cool. We needed Mana Vaults and Diamond Valleys. God, we have way too many Suchis, I think. More Field of Dreams. This is a Collector's Edition Scrubland. Oh, cool, Armies of Allah. Those are popular. Wow, more Gravity Spheres. Okay, so that's interesting. This, this actually looks like it was a deck that this customer is um, trading up into. So I so wanted to help you visualize what this trade looks like so folks can see everything that you see at the bottom down here for this beautiful Alpha Mox Pearl. So in this case, we're, gonna, we're probably gonna have to do a little bit of adjustment with the customer. A few of these are, are not in the condition that I was uh, quite expecting, but they, they are close overall. So in these cases, what we try to do is we look at the overall deal value and we 
um, contact the customer just to let him or her know that there is a, a, a discrepancy from what was sent in. And we want to give every customer a chance to decide if, um, you know, this is what they, they still want to do, even if it, they're getting a little bit less value uh, than they were expecting. Uh, we're building that into our process so that every customer can actually uh, go ahead and click that button if there is a discrepancy. And then right now we just go ahead and automatically approve it if there is not. Going into the holidays, what I've seen, and I mentioned this last week, that I think a lot of the selling activity ha has started to die off. Uh, I think a lot of that happened, especially going into the CFB event, but now, now I'm not really seeing that. And it actually seems like prices are starting to tick back up just a little bit. I'm seeing demand across the board for really all cards. When we ran our 10% off Black Friday special, um, we had a lot of sales come in. And, and I think it it just gets to show you that in, in Magic, the, the market is overall very resilient and there is relatively little price sensitivity, or I'd say that there is some price sensitivity because even a 10% um, price change can, can dramatically affect the outcome. Uh, so I think generally speaking, prices are, you know, within 10 or 20 percent of where they are right now uh, that you see on the site. Maybe we'll run another sale through the holidays. I don't really know yet. We'll, we'll just kind of see how things uh, play out. As always, super thankful for all the support from the community. Uh, our YouTube continues to grow really fast. Really appreciate all the all the support and all of you folks watching at home. Uh, please comment and share if I can um, comment on anything or provide a little bit more color. Uh, and then I think next week we'll try to run another giveaway. Uh, so please stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Encore from Purple Mana.